Let's create an action RPG where you play as a goose. Now a goose with a sword is kind of silly, so I now allow you to change the behaviors of the actors. Instead of fighting with a weapon, you can let the goose use a bite attack. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. If you are new here, I'm developing a tool to make your own RPG games without coding. It's called RPG Playground and you can register for free at rpgplayground.com. A new game starts with an empty level. So let's first select the hero and change it into a goose. All the way down. Now as you can see we have two types. We have a swimming one and a walking one. So for now let's pick the walking one. But let's make a game where you can also go to a swimming one. So let's pick this one. And now we need a proper level. So this level wasn't created by me, but it was created by ABC and I was allowed to use this in the video. So that is really great. Now let's test the game out. If we walk down here to the water, then you see it's kind of weird that the duck walks on the water. So let's change that. First we create two new invisible actors. It's actually this one that you can walk through one here and one here now first the water one when you touch it then we need to change into the swimming duck so let's select duck and here we need hero changes appearance two and then we pick the swimming one okay that's done and then for the other one we need to change into a walking duck again so we insert the action Select the duck, change appearance to, and then the walking duck. Okay, let's test it out. So let's go down, see, it turns into a swimming one. I think I say duck, but it's actually a goose. And then here, the goose goes back to walking. Now, what I really wanted to show you is the behaviors and how you can add and remove them. So let's select the duck again. As you can see, we have health and death. Let's enable this one. And then we also have a swing weapon ability. Now, this looks kind of weird, of course. Let's enable it and test it out. So if you start walking now or swimming, and then you can use the sword here or when walking. But it's kind of weird that a duck or a goose has a sword. So we really want to have like some kind of bite attack. So let's do that now. We delete the swing weapon ability, delete it. Then we go all the way down and here you have a new button that I added, it's add behavior. And here you can pick between all kinds of new behaviors. So the swing weapon ability is the one we just showed, but there's other ones too, like a melee attack behavior, that's some kind of AI for enemies. Patrol behavior is also AI, move to enemy behavior. You can add and remove those from any character you wish. So let's just right now add the bull rush ability. Let's go up. You see it's added here. If you don't need it anymore, you can also remove it. The explosion sprite, we have a toxic one, a fire one and a cloud one. So let's pick the cloud one. That's just like a white thing. So you'll see soon when I attack an enemy. And then let's add an enemy to test it out. So here I add one here. And let's test it. So if we go close to the enemy, it tries to attack us. And we can attack it by just touching it. And it's dead. So this one also means that, for example, if you just pick a normal NPC, let's go all the way up. For example, this one, I don't think he has a sword or anything like that. So if we close this, it just stands still. Let's pick this up again. He has a patrol behavior, but for the rest, he doesn't do anything. So we can add behaviors now. We add health behavior. We add, let's just say, uh, swing weapon ability. And we also add melee attack behavior. Now let's turn this into an enemy. So health and death, we put it to evil. Swing weapon is fine. Melee attack is fine. Patrol is fine. Now, did I also add a move to enemy? No. So let's also move to enemy behavior. 
Okay. So now it should behave as an enemy. Let's test it out. We go down. Yeah, so it if we get close enough, it tries to chase us and then tries to attack. So this is now how you compose all kinds of behaviors for your NPCs. Now in the future, more behaviors will be added. So those things will really allow you to customize your game any way you want. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. So don't forget to like if you like this video, if you like the update. Subscribe to the channel and of course have fun creating your own games. See you next time. Bye.